My wife's sleep was affected tremendously by my snoring. If I fall asleep before and she comes in, she'll either sleep in the living room or grab earplugs. If I'm on my back and start snoring real loud or she sees me not breathing, she'll wake me up and move, turn me over. It seems like I was ready for bed at eight, nine o'clock, get up 5.30 and felt like maybe I got 20 minutes of sleep. I was just exhausted. Loud snoring is reportedly the number one medical cause of divorce. Loud snoring is caused by turbulent airflow that vibrates upper airway tissue. Sleep apnea results in low levels of oxygen in the blood and brain. To open the collapsed airway and start adequate breathing, the brain must be awakened. This happens repetitively and causes fragmented sleep and spikes in blood pressure. Over the past 35 years, we've learned that snoring indicates a collapsing upper airway that can prevent enough air from reaching the lungs. Sleep apnea can cause daytime drowsiness, hypertension, and has been linked to heart attack, stroke, memory loss, diabetes, depression, and insomnia. Those with severe sleep apnea are more likely to die early. For the past 10 years, we have been studying the effects of snoring and sleep apnea on the brain and the consequences for daytime functioning. Our research has shown that the reversibility of daytime drowsiness, memory loss, and impaired executive function are due in part to how long one remains untreated. I've had sleep and breathing problems my entire life. I had my tonsils and adenoids removed when I was two years old and nasal surgery when I was 20 to try and reduce my loud snoring. By the time I reached my mid-40s, my loud snoring had evolved into full-blown sleep apnea. I was found to be so severe when sleeping on my back that it was recommended that I use CPAP therapy, even though I was essentially normal when not sleeping on my back. That is why we invented the night shift. The night shift is worn on the back of the neck. When you begin sleeping on your back, a gentle vibration begins. The vibration slowly increases in intensity until you change position. In addition to providing position therapy, the night shift monitors your sleep and sleep quality. The night shift report portal allows users to track their consistency of use, treatment effectiveness, sleep efficiency, frequency of interrupted sleep, and amount of loud snoring. We design Night Shift as a therapy that empowers the user to track their success. It's a real small band. It's got a magnetic, two magnets put together. It fits right here, lightweight. You'll never even know you have it. Your body gets trained. When it vibrates, I knew automatically just turn over. She was not awake. We were not irritable in the morning, bickering at each other because neither one of us got any sleep. I wore it every single day so that everything we did was better. What I disliked about the CPAP basically is the fact that it was, it was it was cumbersome, especially moving, moving um, through airports, uh, traveling, staying in hotels. The best actually is uh, being able to look at the reports because um, they basically give me very detailed or overview snapshots of the progression that I'm making. And then I can share that information with my health professional. It gives me a lot more confidence in, in the device. The night shift and the reports and the information that I got from downloading every day, every two days, made me realize that I, ha I have a problem. I have a serious problem and I just, I, I, for the longest time I ignored it. I should have done it years ago. I really enjoyed the night shift because it, it gave me freedom. <laughs>